In this video, we'll dive a little bit deeper into the Parasite Drag Tool and take a look at the flow conditions that can be set, some of the controls that we have available, and how to work with units in this analysis. So this is one of the analyses in OpenVSP where units actually matter. In a lot of cases, your OpenVSP geometry could be in millimeters, it could be in fathoms. It, it doesn't really care as long as everything is to its own scale. This is one of the cases where things like your free stream velocity and your altitude, your temperature come into play because when it's coming down to calculating things like the Reynolds number, you, you need to be able to calculate these so it can feed properly into the form factor equations and run the analysis. So up here in geometry, you'll notice that you have a drop down that will tell you to pick either inches, feet, yards, meters, centimeters, millimeters, whatever, or unitless. If you pick unitless, notice how our values over here in our units have updated to say length unit squared. And so it's assuming that you don't care what the unit is, just give me what the, the number is. We change to something like feet, you can see that these values are in fact changing on the fly because we've already run comp geom in the background and gotten all our reference lengths and area and such. Down here in our flow condition, we have several options to pick, either standard atmospheres or controlling the, the air itself using pressure and density, temperature, etc. And you can also choose to just control the Reynolds and the Mach number. So in that case, you're changing the gamma value, 1.4 here, just for regular old dry air, your Reynolds number and your Mach number. But notice that each of these have the capability to be changed also. So if we wanted to do something like a standard atmospheric calculation, but we didn't know what speed it is in feet per second, or maybe we just didn't want to do that step. Instead of feet per second, you can choose meters, kilometers per hour. You can even choose equivalent true airspeed or Mach number in order to match up to say experimental data or to whatever value of free stream velocity you have. Similarly, you can use meters for your altitude while also computing everything in feet. You can mix and match and that's okay. Temperature, you have the option of Kelvin, Celsius, Fahrenheit, or Rankine. So lots of different options here. And pressure, again, can be set in any number of these units, whatever makes sense for your use case. But because we've set things here, we're, we're setting the, the mass values, the density, etc. These things can get a little bit screwy if you start changing around. So notice that when we changed our altitude from feet to meters, it changed what units, the density, the viscosity, the, the Reynolds number, et cetera, were in. So be careful when you're setting this. Notice that the values themselves aren't updating. This stuff down here is, but it's doing all these translations on the fly for you. And so that's a bit of an overview as to how you can come in and manually adjust the free stream velocity, the altitude, the, den the density, the temperature, the Reynolds number or Mach number to set the flow conditions for your parasite drag analysis in a variety of ways in order to either match experimental data and make things easy or run your own conditions to try and match with something like say CFD or, or whatever. But that'll give you an overview on how to set the flow conditions. And again, all the documentation of this lives on the wiki page that's already been covered.